What's up everyone, welcome back to another video on the JBN Melee channel. I am JB and today we're going to be doing another breakdown of the Velma series from HBO Max by Mindy Kaling. So of course, as always, shout out to Scooby News and Velma Brazil on Twitter for these screenshots. They posted them very kindly, so huge credit to them. We really do appreciate it. And of course, a bit of a spoiler warning, we don't have any insight to this show or any behind the scenes knowledge, but it's very possible that we do speculate on things accurately in this video. So if you do want to avoid spoilers of any kind, then I recommend maybe leaving this video until the episode comes out and then maybe you can come back and see what we got right and what we got wrong. But regardless, the first screenshot that we have is Fred. Now, this is the best look that we've had at this version of Fred at least. And to be honest, there's not much to decipher from Fred alone apart from he's possibly got the most, you know, traditional look for a character in this whole series. They've not really changed him a whole lot in terms of costume and appearance, but the hair is quite different. I mean, a lot of people were actually saying in previous episodes that they didn't like how Fred was designed which kind of baffled me a bit because to me this is just Fred. Now he's gonna sound very different not having Frank Welker's voice and definitely like Frank Welker will be missed as Fred but of course we do know that Fred you know Frank Welker is in this series in some capacity I think as Fred's dad but in terms of the background there's a little bit more that we can pick out. Now if we gaze through this kind of weird anime reaction that Fred's pulling here we can see that there's a little cottage to the right hand side of him and it looks to be snowing on top I don't know if that's just the effect but to me that looks kind of like snow but in terms of the leaves around that they're kind of like that twiggy almost haunted look you know the leaves are fallen so maybe we can even use that to speculate time frame. Now, do forgive me again. We really don't have much in the way of, you know, a full-on weather cycle in the UK. It's pretty much just raining 24-7. But if we were to assume that this is sometime after autumn, maybe we can kind of piece things together? I don't know. This could be a flashback. This could be any number of things. And as to where Fred actually is... To me, it almost looks like he's in a vehicle as the windows are kind of too close together and too big to be in a classroom or any other setting. And the natures of the couches, it's kind of almost like diner seats from what I can see. So maybe this is like a limousine that Fred's in. Maybe it's the school bus. It definitely does look like he's in a vehicle i don't know yeah, to me it definitely does look like a vehicle but what is dumbfounding him maybe we can speculate in the next screenshot although it doesn't really look like it lines up but regardless it's going to be some good theories okay now we have what appears to be the group of popular girls at school it's very obvious that the blonde in the well i want to say in the middle but she's not quite in the middle i guess the one that seems to be the main focus point the one that we focus on throughout all these breakdowns being the blonde is the same one that appeared to be bullying velma and I think episode two. So it's kind of interesting that she's presented here as literally, I guess, I don't know what they call it, the queen bee. It adds to my fear of it being a bit cliche as she's obviously the one person that could be that corrupting influence on, especially Daphne. Although, interestingly, Daphne isn't in this scene in particular, but that seems to be the way they go. It could be done, you know, pretty well though. I mean, we saw that a character like Cordelia in Buffy the Vampire Slayer was given that similar, very cliche archetype, but then it was kind of flipped on its head a bit. We could have that here. It could be the surprise character of the season. We don't know, but the background is kind of interesting. It's not a complete, perfect, like, line-by-line -line setup, but that almost glowing effect is very similar to those light beams that Fred was emitting in the previous screenshot. So it could be that one of the story arcs is that Fred has a crush on one of the girl's hair, and that could be a factor, like, maybe he's even dating one. It might be something a bit like that. I mean, we saw from the Mystery Incorporated fan series that they started off with different people too. I mean, it could be that the Velma show is going for that angle as well. 
But then that kind of begs the question, if Fred does have a crush on the blonde, then to that end, why is he hanging out with Velma when clearly they don't get along? It's very interesting. I mean, it might be completely unconnected whatsoever, but I don't know. It, it definitely does seem like it's that same type of effect, if you know what I mean. But if you look to the left-hand side, that haircut from that girl lines up with the girl that was also on the left-hand side in that scene with Velma on the floor. So she's definitely a consistent friend of the blonde in the middle. And we haven't seen those two to the right before. I don't think so anyway. I don't know if they were in the gym scenes, but I guess, unfortunately, I'm just predicting that they're going to be more hench people for those kind of main bullies who it does seem to be the blonde and the girl to the left they seem to be the main antagonists at least in terms of the social scene you know i don't expect them to be the surprise twist you know the ghost face killer that we saw from the teaser trailer but yeah that's kind of all we can say about this apart from the fact that a reason that leads me to think that it isn't connected to that Fred screenshot is as i speculated that seemed to be some type of vehicle Whereas this is quite clearly a classroom. There's nothing like the seats that Fred was sat on there. So I don't know what this is. This could just be something else entirely. But it's safe to say that this is probably at the school. Here's another look at Fred. This episode seems to be quite Fred-centric. Which I'm there for, you know. Like if it's a good performance. Like I like Fred's character. And so always highlighting him is a good idea for me personally. Because... I do feel like Fred's quite an underrated character in terms of mysterying. Like, yes, he's presented as the leader, the glue that binds them all together. But beyond that, it's the odd mystery machine obsession. And then I think that's kind of all they do with him, apart from, you know, Mystery Incorporated and select other mediums. But this looks like they're going to do a bit more with him. Now, I do think that we're going to get a very Freddie Prince Jr. comedic take on Fred in that... He's opening that book very dramatically, which one could think that this is going to be him uncovering all sorts. But I think that this is just going to be the setup for a gag where maybe that's the first time Fred's opened a book for a while. So he's kind of doing it over dramatized. Maybe Velma's with him like, dude, and she's just got like a pile of books. I don't know. I kind of think that's all this is. I don't think he's going to be uncovering anything wild in terms of plot line revelations within this book. But what's interesting to note is those that that seat, although I think it's a seat, they've kind of made it look a bit more 2D than I think a seat would look. But it does definitely look like the consistency of the seats from that kind of first screenshot. So if it's the same location, I'm not quite sure the windows look quite different. But it either looks like this is going to be a school cafeteria or maybe even the school library based on the book. But it doesn't really look like a library to me. But that's all I think this is. I do think that this is just going to be a fun, jokey scene. And there's not much else to this, in my opinion. This is a really interesting screenshot. And novel aside, I do think that this may be my favourite look at the show so far. Because if you look to the left, Daphne looks absolutely incredible. Like, no matter what people say about this... I do think that this is the best look for Daphne that we've had. Apart from the classic look, obviously. To me, this is definitely levels above that blocky suit that she wore in, which is Ghost, Cyber Chase, and stuff like that. And I do think it's better than some of the other interpretations that we've had so far. So I do love Daphne's look here. And there is definitely respect to the original design as well, with that kind of scarf, or I guess it's like a ribbon more you know under the collar and i don't know what's on her legs it's either high socks or it could even be pink boots a bit like she wore in the 2002 movie which would be a pretty sweet reference but daphne looks absolutely incredible looks wise she's perfect i am a bit worried about constant woo's performance but if if that's good then I've got no complaints about Daphne, <laughs> though then again, the writing could mess it up, but that's always going to be a fear with new shows like this. Now, we do look at Norville. We've broken down his look quite extensively, and I do much prefer this, actually, than when he was live streaming. I think this is a much better look for Norville, because 
he isn't Shaggy. I'm going to say that much. And if he was Shaggy, they would have called him Shaggy. I think Norville is very much going to be his own entity. And to have him act like, you know, the Shaggy that we know and love, I think would come across as a bit disingenuous. I do think that this is more Norville. Like, there's a reason why this version has gone with that name. And I actually think it's because he wants to be taken a bit more seriously than the Shaggy that we know. He wants to figure stuff out. And I think that's why he is with Daphne here. I think it's a bit like Stranger Things, this series. I think what we've seen is we've got Daphne and Norville teaming up. We've got Velma and Fred teaming up. And I think both storylines will, you know, connect together. Maybe in the last two or three episodes where they will come together as Mystery Inc. Minus Scooby, unfortunately, but, you know, there's reasons for that that I'm not going to get into in this. But kind of jumping ahead, from future screenshots that we've seen, I think that we can confidently say that there that this scene is taking place in Daphne's room. So what Daphne's and Norval's relationship are is interesting. I personally would prefer all members of Mystery Inc. in this show to stay platonic. I don't think there's any need to force any romance. I think that because they're doing something a bit differently, the actual plot line should carry it without the need for, you know, love triangles or dramas of or anything of that nature. So I kind of want to say that they're just close friends. Or maybe Shaggy finds that and he thinks, oh, this is kind of pretty this is sparkly and it's purple Daphne must have dropped it I'm gonna take it to her or something to that effect I'm not quite sure but yeah I'd be lying if I said that I didn't really like this scene oh, it seems like we're rushing through this analysis of this episode but I think everything is relatively either surface level so it's just my reaction to it or it's pretty cut and dry like with this there's the uniform to the left-hand side, which is like the jock uniform, you know, they're going to be the rugby player, the American football player, clearly the antagonist in this situation, and Velma's sprayed with water. So there's been something, you know, you, you see these scenes all the time, like someone's filled a bucket of water, there's lockers in the background, maybe Velma's gone to open it and a bucket of water's poured on her head. Typical bullying scene. It isn't nice to see like Velma go through this, but it's definitely maybe hammering home the fact that Velma isn't really popular in this school setting. So maybe that's going to turn around. Maybe she's going to be popular by the end of it. But I think it's all just adding to the character of, you know, Velma isn't well liked. How does this affect her? Uh, the posters, I don't think are anything really to, to dive into. There's one that says GG4. And I can only assume that in this world, that's like a famous influencer or a famous pop star. I don't know why it's completely covering that locker there. You know, it, you know what? I do. I think this could be a scenario where, oh, yeah, you know what? Okay, I've, I'm just thinking about something fresh here. That Gigi from the hairstyle does look a lot like the friend of the blonde bully what i think could be happening and maybe this was also factoring into the prep rally from i think last episode is that it's like class presidency or like prom king prom queen so i kind of bet that underneath that gg4 text it's, it says prom queen or class president, or maybe it's even a yearbook thing, like GG for most popular, or GG for best looking. So I don't think that is a pop star, actually. I think GG is the friend of the blonde, and I think maybe that friendship group could fall apart because they're all trying to campaign for this, you know, prom king, prom queen type of thing. Now, we don't really recognise the poster to the left, definitely isn't Daphne the hair's quite a short and I don't know like it baffles me to think that you would campaign with that type of photo like it isn't showing the face or anything you know so I don't know what that is but definitely there does seem to be a subplot of you know prom king prom queen going on so maybe there was more to this screenshot than I originally thought 
Also, this is JB from the future going through editing here. Just to quickly point out that on the jock uniform, we do see the letter C. Now, this doesn't really help us in the world of Scooby, as both Crystal Cove and Coolsville start with the same letter. However, based on Velma, the, the kind of Twitter account, placing themselves in Crystal Cove, I think it's fair to say that this school is just going to be called Crystal Cove High. That's kind of what we're expecting from that. But yeah, if you think something else, let us know in the comment section. Now yeah, on to the next screenshot. And perhaps the most bizarre screenshot that we've seen so far, we have Velma rigging up what appears to be a big car battery or maybe just an energy output to a pig for some type of ghastly electronic electric experiment now i can see this show this scene getting under a lot of criticism for like promoting animal cruelty or making light of it and if it was a kid show yeah i kind of get it but if it's clear that this is for adults then this could just be seen as like a throwaway gag and anyway i don't feel like we're gonna see this scene in motion what I think based around the border, which is almost, it's kind of a bit like comic book print like effect. Kind of like something you'd see in Into the Spider-Verse, but obviously I think Into the Spider-Verse did it a lot better. But here we have that kind of effect. And so I think that this is Velma running through her plan or her ideas about something to another character. And we see various wacky screenshots or like freeze frames that depict her thought process. So you can just imagine her voiceover going, and whoopee, we solved the mystery. Like, I just think we're going to see that image as she says something like that. I don't think this is ever going to be in motion or anything. And that's purely based on the border, the absurdity of what's going on, like the fact that there'd be absolutely no practical implications for this. And it appears to be at school. I don't know where she's getting a pig at school. I don't know who's allowing this to happen at school. Yeah. I just think that this is almost like a dream sequence or an explaining, you know, graphic. I don't think this is actually going to be happening. But yeah, that is the last screenshot that we have of episode four called Velma Makes a List, which is like, I'm not a fan of what these episodes are being titled so far. It just seems, I don't know if they're like, you know, changing them to avoid spoilers, but yeah, not a fan but yeah, what do you think about these screenshots? I think these ones were quite reactionary based, quite, you know, just say what you see and speculate on what it could mean. I don't think there's anything that you can really dive into to that level. But if you guys have any theories about what you've seen in these photos, if you're looking forward to the Velma series or not looking forward to the Velma series, then please comment down below and let us know. And if you do want to see more breakdowns, I do think we've got two more episodes, you know, in terms of screenshots released, then please like, comment and subscribe to JBN Millie.